Hi, I'm Paul Padding with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Welcome to the third in our series on identifying ducks in the hand by their wings. In this video, we'll look at some of the common diving ducks. Scop, ringneck duck, redhead, and canvasback. As we showed in the dabbling duck video, using wing plumage is a good way to tell similar looking species apart. Just like with dabbling ducks, the adult males are easy. Redhead wings are gray with some light flecking in the shoulder area. Canvasbacks have gray feathers with so much light flecking that the shoulder almost looks white. Ringneck duck wings have dark shoulder feathers with no white flecks. And scop have dark shoulders with lots of white flecks in those feathers. If you're trying to differentiate between greater or lesser scop, Look at the primary feathers. Greater scop have white in their primaries and lessers have gray there. The wings of the females are much less distinctive and so is the rest of their plumage. Here are wings from young of the year females. Scop, ringneck duck, redhead, and canvasback. The scop wing has a dark shoulder and secondary feathers that are mostly white. Ringneck duck wings are similar, except that they have mostly gray secondary feathers. Notice the redhead and canvasback wings look very similar. However, you can tell them apart by comparing their heads. The canvasback has a sloped forehead with a wedge-shaped bill, and the redhead has a rounded forehead. Let's review with young of the year females. Dark wing with white secondary feathers. Scop. Dark wing with gray secondary feathers. Ringneck duck. Gray wing with a sloped head. Canvas back. Gray wing with a rounded head. Red head. We hope this gave you new insight in identifying diving ducks. And if you're looking for more species, check out the other videos in our series.